When it was March 15, 2024, it was raining, but it doesn't stop me for getting to my 71st job. It was raining as fucking heavy hell. So, we're going to HCK Hot Chicken. I honestly thought we're going to work at Joella's Hot Chicken, but, we can go another time, if we need a need a job change. We'll see, but HCK Hot Chicken we go. Our story. We're all different and that's cool. However, there's one thing that unites us all, the love of food. Food gives us comfort, connection and joy. Seriously, if we all even pretended to be as happy as we genuinely are when a satisfying meal is set before us, the world would be a much better place. At HCK Hot Chicken, we're genuinely that happy. Not only do we find pleasure in cooking up a spicy sandwich for you, we also believe in the magic of spreading positivity in our community. We live for the euphoria a delicious meal can provide. Founders Mike Sarago and his son, Anthony Sarago, along with partner chef Frederick Gilmore strive to harness the power of food to bring people together. Whether you're slamming some chicken and waffles or munching on chicken tenders smothered in one of our unique hot sauces, you can enjoy them knowing they're made with the best ingredients and infused with love. Welcome to HCK Hot Chicken. How may I help you? I would like to get the Nashville-style chicken sandwich, loaded seasoned crinkle cut fries, and a large Coke. I'm sorry, but we don't serve loaded fries here. Oh yes you do. I can see some fries deep frying in the oven. I don't give a... Oh wait. You don't need French fries, because... Fries have a very high starch content. When they are cooked at high temperatures, they absorb moisture which gives them their signature crispy exterior. When they are left out to cool, the starches secrete moisture, which eventually makes the fries crust soggy. Pay close attention to why, lamp, greasy fries can really ruin a good dish and in some serious cases, the restaurant's reputation. This isn't an exaggeration, there are numerous restaurant reviews on the internet that complains about how terrible their fries were. In this post, we discover some of the most common complaints about French fries and how you can avoid them. Soggy fries. Fries have a very high starch content. When they are cooked at high temperatures, they absorb moisture which gives them their signature crispy exterior. When they are left out to cool, the starches secrete moisture, which eventually makes the fries crust soggy. How do you make sure your fries stay crisp? Opt for clear coated ones. A clear starch coating keeps your fries exterior crispy and interior fluffy for much longer. Our Simplot Conquest A registered delivery plus A registered fries are exceptional in texture thanks to their 30 plus minute holding time. They are also available in various cuts and forms to fit any dish. Choosing the right takeout containers is as important as choosing the right frozen fries. Choose packaging that offers good temperature retention, strength, and ventilation to allow steam escape paper bags and containers are best at that. While plastic and styrofoam are the cheaper alternatives, they're bad for the environment. But if you must use them, make sure to punch holes for ventilation. Soggy and limp fries, to your diners, are as good as eating leftovers in the fridge. So, prepare fries that are worth leaving the house for. Refried fries. Another complaint is rock hard fries. Some restaurants just prefer to refree old fries instead of making a fresh batch. Yikes. To make sure your fries arrive warm and tasty at your diner's table, Simplot Conquest A registered clear coated fries can extend their A fresh from fryer crispiness for up to 15 minutes after cooking. Keeping them warm under a heat lamp or on a steam table can also help for a period of time. Never, ever, refree. Off flavors. Some reviews also mention that their fries taste A fishy. Old, oxidated, and irregularly filtered frying oil can really affect the quality and taste of your fries. A well-used fryer oil should be filtered at least once a day, making sure any free-floating bits and slivers are removed completely. Avoid frying other foods like seafood with the same oil, as this will very noticeably ruin the taste of your fries. Greasy fries. Unlike premium fries, inexpensive or a bargain ones typically contain much more water than solids from potatoes. When they are cooked in hot oil, all that water evaporates, sucking in excessive oil inside. It's always worth it to invest in premium fries. Simplot Blue Ribbon A Registered, Simplot Classic A Registered, 
Simplot Infinity A Registered, Simplot Conquest A Registered or any of our season, batter fries like Simplot Season Crisp A Registered works wonders as they absorb less and taste great all around. Next, make sure the temperature and time are set properly as per printed on the package. Another tip is to avoid overfilling your basket. An overfilled basket causes the fryer to heat the fries more slowly resulting in undercooked fries. Pay attention to your fries. Your diners will always have high expectations of these golden sticks of potato, and with online reviews becoming more and more important for restaurants, it's only right that you prepare your fries correctly. Wow! You can't handle an opinion, fine. I'll just go to a hot chicken joint, like Dave's Hot Chicken, Joella's Hot Chicken, Timmy's Hot Chicken, Hangry Joe's Hot Chicken, Slappy's Chicken, Champ. S. Nashville Hot Chicken, Bird's Hot Chicken, or Royal's Hot Chicken. I hope I don't see your pink shirt looking ass again. If I do, I'm getting your boss. Audible Inc. presents Go the Fuck to Sleep. Written by Adam Mansbach. Narrated by Samuel L. Jackson. The cats nestle close to their kittens. The lambs have laid down with the sheep. You're cozy and warm in your bed, my dear. Please go the fuck to sleep. The windows are dark in the town, child. The whales huddle down in the deep. I'll read you one very last book if you swear. You'll go the fuck to sleep. The eagles who soar through the sky are at rest, and the creatures who crawl, run, and creep. I know you're not thirsty. That's bullshit. Stop lying. Lie the fuck down, my darling, and sleep. The wind whispers soft through the grass, hun. The field mice, they make not a peep. It's been 38 minutes already. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Go to sleep. All the kids from daycare are in dreamland. The froggy has made his last leap. Hell no, you can't go to the bathroom. You know where you can go? The fuck to sleep. The owls fly forth from the treetops. Through the air they soar and they sweep. A hot crimson rage fills my heart, love. For real, shut the fuck up and sleep. The cubs and the lions are snoring, wrapped in a big, snuggly heap. How come you can do all this other great shit, but you can't lie the fuck down and sleep? The seeds slumber beneath the earth now, and the crops that the farmers will reap. No more questions. This interview's over. I've got two words for you, kid. Fucking sleep. The tiger reclines in the simmering jungle. The sparrow has silenced her cheap. Fuck your stuff, bad. I'm not getting you shit. Close your eyes, cut the crap, sleep. The flowers doze low in the meadows. And high on the mountains so steep. My life is a failure. I'm a shitty ass parent. Stop fucking with me, please. And sleep. The giant pangolins of Madagascar are snoozing. As I lie here and openly weep. Sure, fine, whatever. I'll bring you some milk. Who the fuck cares? You're not gonna sleep. This room is all I can remember. The furniture, crappy and cheap. You win. You escape. 
you run down the hall as I nod the fuck off and sleep. Leery and dazed, I awaken to find your eyes shut. So I keep my fingers crossed tight as I tiptoe away and pray that you're fucking asleep. We're finally watching our movie. Popcorns in the microwave. Beep. Oh shit! God damn it! You gotta be kidding! Come on, go the fuck back to sleep. Fakey, I've been getting complaints about you. Why? Because you was being rude to the customers. I'm not going to accept this shit at all. That's it. You're fired, and you're banned from every H C C K's hot chicken restaurants forever. Get out now, or I'm getting the police involved. But you're a ghost. It doesn't matter what am I. Get out of here now. Ghosts are creepy, ugly ass looking ghost and ghost bitch ass. Oh 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 that's it time for a story time audible inc presents go the fuck to sleep written by adam mansback Narrated by Samuel L. Jackson. The cats nestle close to their kittens. The lambs have laid down with the sheep. You're cozy and warm in your bed, my dear. Please go the fuck to sleep. The windows are dark in the town, child. The whales huddle down in the deep. I'll read you one very last book if you swear you'll go the fuck to sleep. The eagles who soar through the sky are at rest, and the creatures who crawl, run, and creep. I know you're not thirsty. That's bullshit. Stop lying. Lie the fuck down, my darling. And sleep. The wind whispers soft through the grass, hun. The field mice they make not a peep. It's been thirty-eight minutes already. Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Go to sleep. All the kids from daycare are in dreamland. The froggy has made his last leap. Hell no, you can't go to the bathroom. You know where you can go? The fuck to sleep. The owls fly forth from the treetops. Through the air they soar and they sweep. A hot crimson rage fills my heart, love. For real, shut the fuck up and sleep. The cubs and the lions are snoring, wrapped in a big, snuggly heap. How come you can do all this other great shit, but you can't lie the fuck down and sleep? The seeds slumber beneath the earth now, and the crops that the farmers will reap. No more questions. This interview's over. I've got two words for you, kid. Fucking sleep. The tiger reclines in the simmering jungle. 
The sparrow has silenced her cheap. Fuck your stuff, bad. I'm not getting you shit. Close your eyes, cut the crap, sleep. The flowers doze low in the meadows, and high on the mountains so steep. My life is a failure. I'm a shitty ass parent. Stop fucking with me, please. And sleep. The giant pangolins of Madagascar are snoozing, as I lie here and openly weep. Sure. Fine, whatever. I'll bring you some milk. Who the fuck cares? You're not gonna sleep. This room is all I can remember. The furniture, crappy and cheap. You win. You escape. You run down the hall. As I nod the fuck off and sleep. Leery and dazed, I awaken to find your eyes shut. So I keep my fingers crossed tight as I tiptoe away and pray that you're fucking asleep. We're finally watching our movie. Popcorns in the microwave. Beep. Oh shit! God damn it! You gotta be kidding! Come on, go the fuck back to sleep. Wah 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 w